what's wrong with playing with yourself for an hour, Jake? I don't need that long. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today we are joined by Ben. I've just realised that the Christmas tree's fallen over. Yeah, that was me. Uh, and just Ben. <laughs> just Ben. Just Ben. But he is Jake. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh, Ben? Well, I think both of our days today went the same way. Yeah. Uh, we did everything except lose to the bye. Um, yeah, today was really bad. We, I got, fuck, I got sacked so hard. Oh, God. Did it make you want to book a flight and go to Queens? It, it didn't make me want to book a flight and leave the state before the tournament had finished. Uh, like someone from our locals did. Yeah. We'll tell that, we'll tell that story. It's a fun story. Yeah. Um, so Josh's week in Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh decided to make a trip to Queensland with the other guys, which is why there's only two of us here. The, the rest Everybody of the team else is in Queensland. Um, they're at a Pokemon tournament. So as a part of that, Josh went really, really badly. So badly, he booked another flight and left. Yeah, didn't want to stay for day two, didn't want to support, uh, didn't want to even enjoy what Brisbane had to offer, just decided to get up and go. Yeah, just <laughs> left the state. <laughs> so that's Josh's week in Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I guess today, round one, again, I played Kurt, and his mules were just absurd, because I gave him, I sold him to Element. So yeah, oh yeah, I sold to Element today. I decided I'm playing Dragon Maid, uh, Dragon Maid Ishizu... Uh, bestial for YCS so decided on my list now to get to like some hardcore testing you told everyone what you're playing eh. <laughs> eh. like go ahead use your Ashizu cards against me thank you I would very much like you to Ashizu me for 5 either setting up my dragon maids or giving me ways to disrupt your two elements like thank you Um, so that's that that's what I've done uh, round 1 Played against Kurt. His mills were absurd. I lost the die roll on an 11. So, like, I, I roll 11 and I'm like, here we go. He rolls 12 and I'm like, fuck. I open my first five cards and I've opened God Hand for going first. I've opened, like, Baron, H Seal, Dragon Maid Fusion, plus, like, the full Bestial back row and a tidying set. And I was like, fuck, this is the best possible hand I could have opened here. And... I just lose the die roll, and that hand has no interaction in it. So I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna wait now. No problem. So, that was that. Um, yeah, that was my round one. And then, I won game two easily. Game three, I opened kind of shit, going second. Uh, and then just lost to time. Like, both of my losses, to time. Actually, no, my second loss wasn't to time. That was to bad. Um, yeah, so first loss, to time. Again, I opened decent. My game three hand was really good. I just had the one imperm, and I was like, I've just got to stop him from getting to the Bernie Dragon. I stopped one way to get to the Bernie Dragon, he had a second way to get to the Bernie Dragon, and I was like, I just get burned for 600 the moment I start playing. So, despite the fact that I have five cards that can out your board, I do not get a battle phase, so I lose. Um, and then round next round, I played against Exorcister, and that was game one. I opened God Hand, one game one. Game two, I just didn't quite have enough to break the board. And game three, I got Shifter Lightning Storm. So he went Shifter, and I was like, I will just end on a H seal, and I will pass. And then he went Lightning Storm, and I was like, I have one card left in hand. Good game. This is not going to get to be three. So I was like, I can H seal away the first Exorcist Monster. Hopefully he doesn't have the Martha to get something else onto board. And then I'll just kind of summon a thing, search, and phase. Nah, can't do it under the lightning storm there as well. So that was that. That was my day. Tuesday was fine. I went X1 again. No, I went... I did not go X1 because I scooped to Kurt for the 10th week in a row. <laughs> they don't call him scoop to Kurt, Kurt for nothing. Well, the important thing is, he's got his entry now. Yep. He I has can enough. No and longer scoop yeah, to Kurt. Yeah, we don't have to scoop to Kurt anymore. Finally, I can play locals properly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was that was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh, Jake. Yeah, so mine was an interesting week. Um, so yeah, today was not a great day. Both of my games were against different Exorcist players. 
both times, uh, they just had me under different things that sort of felt... Well, actually, no. When I versed Chad, I just didn't open all that well. Like, I had a gamma for the D-shifter, yep. but then I had, like, zero follow-up. So it was, like, really awkward. Yeah. Um, like, I milled 10 of his cars, but then, like, my mills were sort of, like, half ass. Like, it just wasn't great. Um, and then when I was versing Chaz... Uh, we got to game three. I think game one, I just, like, completely blew him out. He just had nothing that he could do. I think I milled ten cards of his, and, like, I think I milled, like, a playset of two of the different Exorcisters. Yeah. And then he goes for Martha, and I just negate it, and he's like, no, that's it. Uh, game two uh, had me under Shifter and... Um, not Shifter, sorry, D Fissure, and I just couldn't out that. Um, like, it, my hand was just not very good to do that either. I was pretty much... I made Redoer. And I was hoping to rip a trap off the top so that I could then bounce the Mac, uh, the fissure to the top to yep. then be able to play again on a later turn. Yep. And that didn't happen. And then game three, uh, I opened like double Super Poly, Havness, uh, and something else. But it was like, yeah, this isn't playing. Uh, so then it goes to his turn and he has me under Necro Valley and Dimensional Fissure. So I'm like, that's a little rough. Awesome. Love this for me. And yeah, just didn't see outs at all. Like, I could super poly away the Martha and the thing that he summoned, but like, that yeah. was as far as it got. Um, now that I've decided on my deck, I need to start working my side deck. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mind my main deck at the moment, but yeah, my sides will need to change, I think. Yeah. And they'll probably change once for the uh, end of year thing that we've got coming yeah. up. We have a 1k coming up. Yeah. So, so, invitation only, don't try and show up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can... Uh, actually, no, I prefer you don't watch. Don't come. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll probably have a set side for that because the matchups will be somewhat known for that, so I can side specifically for the people I'm likely to verse. Yeah. Uh, and then the YCS will be a whole another kettle of fish, so I'll have to work that out. Um, Tuesday, I think I did X1 then as well. I think that was the last of the current ban list from memory. No, yeah, the new ban list. Yeah. So yeah, today played under the new ban list, some minor changes to the deck list. I was playing with only one um, Keldo for a while. I mean, sorry, with two Keldo for a while. Yeah. Um, and then as I was looking through cards to put into um, Branded on Sunday, because I went in and played like a couple casual games on Sunday. No, Saturday. Sunday. Um, I realised I had the third all along. It was just chilling in the box. So I was like, cool, in you go. Um, yeah. So I've made the changes to the deck. It's functioning fine. I put Knight Sword Serpent back in. Yeah, I, I like it as a piece yeah. of like non light or dark uh, level four extension because it means most times if I'm not too heavily interrupted, I can end on Abyss Dweller and a Time Thief. Yeah, yeah. So I like that. It's making uh, it a little bit freer for you. Yes. Um, and then yeah, I can't remember really much of my matchups on the Tuesday night. Um, Monday though was. A bit memorable um so i went to grim dark it wasn't a particularly big local so i think it was like um six people maybe even five like they've not got a great turnout um but i did end up winning it was a tier element mirror um for the finals so it gave me some practice but again it wasn't like the most perfect list it still needed bits and pieces um so i got to the packs thing um one of the i think the dude who came last ended up getting the ulti cherries so i was like oh that sucks it always seems to happen. The person who gets last always gets the best pack. Should have offered him three bucks. <laughs> um, it looks really nice, though, now that I've seen it in person. like It's the best ulti in the set. Um, There's no... Yeah, it's there the is. best ulti in the set. No, nah, fuck you. Fuck you, Ben. It's the best ulti in the set. Don't speak badly about Luba, you bitch. Anyway, not important. Um, so it gets to my packs. I don't pull anything from my OTS, but I get two packs of... Um, Darkwing Blasters, like, the extra packs. Yeah. Uh, put Starlight Ecclesia. So all was well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you pulled that. Yes, I was, like, I was very happy about that. Uh, yeah. It looks so nice as well. So now I have two of the Ecclesia Starlights. Yep. So I just need the Sword Soul one. And I'll have a nice little bundle. Wait, two... E oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I've got yep. normal Ecclesia Starlight. Yep, yep. I need the Sword Soul Ecclesia Starlight. Yep. And now I've got Evil Ecclesia Starlight. Okay. And then you can have all of your normal summer bitches together. Two of them special summon. 
Actually, all of them special summon. Yeah, but you normal summon them, Jake. You can just normal summon them, and then because they're level fours, you can get a hard on. Excuse and me. then that's how you operate, isn't it? Excuse me, Chamber Dragon Maid. Yeah, but I have other levels that I like. To normal summon. Yeah. Can normal summon power? You don't though. Yeah, I did it multiple times today. That's because your hands were bad today. No, my hands were really good today. Anyway. This deck's really good. Anyway, you play a deck full of women that turn into beasts, you scaly fuck. Okay, Alistair. I haven't played Alistair in a year and a half. Yeah, I know. It's what divorces are. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so that concludes our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! So we move on to some news. Uh, we start with a Master Duel update. Uh, so the ban list is now in effect. Uh, Flunder is, is effectively nerfed to the shithouse. The little to no reason. Like, there's a reason. There's but absolutely they're, a reason. They're it's not a justifiable deaths. reason. <laughs> um, they all should have just got hit. Yeah, well, for reasons I'll get into in a minute, I know why they didn't hit Brandon. Yeah, um, because they gave... Shh, shh, don't ruin it. Um, so yeah, ban list is now in effect, um, but also at the same time that that was implemented, they uh, announced that they have got to 50 million downloads. Oh, uh, yeah, so as a in. celebration, um, you can log in and get 1,000 gems on the first day. And then on the second day that you log in, you can get the five-headed god dragon master dual sleeves. They oh, look quite nice. I thought you were going to say mate. No. That would be... Uh, actually, I don't know how I feel about that, because I thought I'd like the Trish mate, but I don't. It's just too it, big. It, well, no, Trish in particular is just a little bit ugly. Okay. Outside of, like, a card artwork where it's static, it's just a little bit... Eh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So if you haven't done that already, jump in, get your free gems, get your sleeves, all that kind of thing. Um, we also have a new secret pack. They've done this one really weird. So usually the secret packs are like the ones where if you hit the super or the ultra in like your normal packs, you then get to unlock this one. This one they've pre-unlocked and you have it unlocked until Boxing Day. What are you getting at? Well, it's... Um, the pack name will pretty much give it away. Uh, Alba Abyss. Uh, so basically, it's a lot of the stuff that they had in the master pack for Albaz plus a lot of new support. Uh, so they have... Alba Lendidus is out now. Um, which is the fusion that no one really plays. But you can in Master Duel because you can get away with playing a lot of garbage in Master Duel, to be frank. Um, they've got the fake Alistair, Albaz the Ashen. Um, he has some effect where he can like special summon himself and he can send himself Albaz um, in the graveyard or something. So, yeah, they've just like given all of that support early. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but it gets better because they've also got uh, Branded Banishment, which is the one that like yeah, summons back one trap. and then Super Poly. Whoop, whoop. Uh, but then better than that, uh, they've also got Branded Expulsion. Better than that, Jake, we still don't have Therians. No, but they'll be coming. Um, so yeah, Branded Expulsion's the one that um, like tributes an Albaz Fusion then summons the pieces to either board. So you can do the um, Ra Disciple lock or the Magical Creature lock. Oh, okay. So they get to be Flunderies now. Yeah, they get to be Floodgatey. So yeah. they'll sell the shit out of this. Um... The weird thing about it is, like, the things that do that aren't high rarity. Yeah. Like, I think Ra's Disciple might be an ultra, but who cares if they ban that? Like, honestly, who gives a shit? Um, the god players. What will Bragg do? <laughs> oh, no. He's, he's playing Desperate here in Master Duel anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, in future, we will be getting a new pack. I think it comes out on December 8th. Uh, do I have the screenshot of it here? Yes. Uh, so this one is called Mysterious Labyrinth. I wonder if you can guess what's in it. Not Therians. Yeah, correct. Uh, so we get the Labyrinth uh, cards. We get uh, a few more pieces of support for the adventurer stuff, uh, namely Illegal Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we also get the Runic cards. Oh. Yep. Uh, we get the Predator Plant support. And we get the Weather Painter support. How toxic do you reckon Runic is going to be on Master Door? Oh, it's going to be absolutely cringe. Best of oh, one, actually, no Mystic yep. Mine. No Mystic Mine. So that's the, I guess that's the balance between it. Yeah. And most of the time, most people are maining spell and trap outs because there are decks like Eldritch and Umi running around. So you need to have some sort of spell and trap removal to be able to deal with those decks. Okay. You've convinced me, Jake. You just play the protection cards. Is there, are people playing Cosmic? Yes. I've never been hit with these cards, so... And by people, I mean... Yes, the entire player base is playing Cosmic because I, I sample size them and it's one. 
That's me. I mean, why would you not play Cosmic? Most problems that you need to deal with are better off banished than in the grave. Because you can just play Duster. I mean, you can play both. No, you only have. You only need to take one spell and trap removal card. And... You need what five spell and trap removal all at once, and that's it. That's yes. Sorry, six because I'm including the field spell. It's best so than that's, one. That's the logic you're dealing with. Yep. So I just need to do it once, yes. and then by then I've won. Yeah. <laughs> they get it once, and then they don't get anything else. Uh, as well as that, though, uh, they have a structure deck that's coming because uh, we know how much their uh, structure decks are much loved. Uh, to be fair, the last one was really good. Was the last one champ? No, it wasn't Jagger Mates, actually. The last one. Then the last one sucked. <laughs> 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 so, the upcoming structure deck is Immortal Glory. Do you know what that is? It's not Earthbound Immortals, is it? No, 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 no. Okay, what is it then? Focus on the first word and have a guess. Immortal? Mm. But it's not Earthbound Immortal. Correct. What is Think it? about the meaning of the word more so. If you can't tell, I'm trying to stretch out the podcast just a tad. Just a tad? <laughs> we got no questions? No, no we got lots of questions. Um, but there's just two of us as well, so there's no... Yeah, what, what's coming back from the graveyard, Jake? What's coming back? Is it a zombie structure deck? It is! Well done. So it's all the zombie support that came out in... I want to say Battles of Chaos. So you have like Red Eyes Zombie, Dragon Lord... Um, skeletal Dragon, Felgrand, Immortal Dragon, um, and all that kind of stuff. I don't remember these cards existing. You don't remember these ones? You would have seen them in your packs, and you would have been like, what the fuck do these do? I don't care. Because they came out around I the think... same time as like the Starving Venom stuff. Okay, I think so little of those cards that I just dig them Oh yeah, them. like, they're not amazing. Like, definitely not amazing enough to make a structure deck around them, but here we are. Ah, they do it. People look like zombies... I have a fetish for that, so they'll buy a huge set of structure decks. Every they'll find out. They'll they will buy three of those structure decks and be like, "Finally, I can build the deck," and then, then uninstall the game, sign up with a new account, and buy them again to be like, <laughs> "I just want Konami to know that I support this." This is how they achieve fifty million downloads. They just release it structure decks for fetishists. Yes, exactly how it works. They go in, they sign out, they get a new account, and they buy it again. So how'd you go with the Dragon Mage structures? Oh, I'm the best Dragon Mage player in the world, so I don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. I'm not a fetishist, I'm just good at Yu-Gi-Oh. No, you're a fetishist. Moving on, uh, so from Data Leaks, as opposed to the news that they've announced, we have some further news on Master Duel. Uh, so we have an upcoming solo mode, which is The Legend of the Starry Dragon. Remember when yeah. you said that card was going to be good, Jake? Yeah, the problem Dude, is... Starry Dragon's going to be the best! The... I need it! I need it! I <laughs> fell into the uh, pitfall that many Yu-Gi-Oh players do, in that I didn't read the card. It has to be summoned from hand. I thought you could summon it from anywhere. So I thought you could just spam it like in different mechanics. You thought you could Dark Sage it from deck? No, 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 no. There's other ways, like Reborn it from Graveyard, Reborn it from Banished. Dark Sage Nothing. it from deck? Shut up! <laughs> but anyway, we get to find out what the lore of that is. Um, in the OCG, it's like directly related to Christmas. So I think that's why they're releasing it now. Something to do with its name. Eh. Yeah. Um, deck sucks. But we also get a profile frame to go with that. It's like a nice, nice little Christmas wreath. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, we have our next event, which is the second iteration of the Duelist Cup. Why don't they just do an event where you have to play Christmas cards? They are. It's called the Solo Mode with Starry Nights. No, no, but I want, I want to just simply ben, play cards from advent ben, calendars. Ben, you need to understand. Master Duel doesn't care about you. Because you no, come on here, would, you shit talk it, it every week, then no one cares. If you're not going to play it, no, who I, gives a fuck? I wouldn't play it. The plebs would play it. No, they wouldn't. If you said to a bunch of plebs, guys, 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 hear me out. I've got a mode for you. Every deck must have box of friends in it. They'd be like, I'm in. Yeah, because it's a vanilla and you can play around it. I can just play Box fucking... of friends isn't a vanilla. Jake? What is it? It's an XE? No, it's a like level 8 effect monster. I just have to have it in my deck, do I? No, you oh, get in the celebration, Jake. See, here's the thing. We work around these things, Ben. No, no, As Yu-Gi-Oh players, we work around these things. Unless they the gave us the deck pool. So unless they said, this is the exact deck you have no, to play, no more, no less, you will work around only it. Only Christmas-related cards. So, like, Santa Claus and shit. There are no... There, there's literally one card that's related to Santa Claus. No, yeah, like... And that is Santa Claus. Yeah, that's not... I wasn't saying like Santa Claus and shit. I was saying like the physical card Santa Claus. Oh, so just card use? 
Well, you can play Santa Claus. But kaiju's are like Santa Claus. No, but literally just Santa Claus. You can't just play Santa Claus. Yes, you can. No, because you can't summon your own Santa Claus. Yes. And you can't summon the Santa Claus to your opponent's side of the field Correct. if they're also playing Santa Claus. Correct. You're retarded. No, I'm not. I'm a genius. No. Anyway, the Duelist Cup is coming up, uh, and we have some information as to what they're doing in order to make it more fair and balanced. Uh, basically, they're disabling the turning off of crossplay, which was one of the controversial parts of the last one, if you recall. Yeah, because you could play it on Switch and just fucking dominate. Yeah, so that was the oh, issue that arose last time, if you weren't aware, that um, a lot of people call out the person who ended up winning because he said he turned off crossplay and was just playing on Xbox, which is apparently where all the worst duelists are found. Um, so <coughs> if you play Xbox, but apparently that's how it goes. No, it's um, logical that that's the way it worked out. Yeah, so interesting. Uh, we'll see how that goes. A um, bunch of stuff in relation to that in terms of, like, um, I think these are... Oh, cut icons. So you can have that as like your picture, but why would you? Yeah, why would you? We're going to have Master Diamond. Uh, we also get some sleeves. Uh, the Tri Brigade sleeves, they look kind of cool. It's a bit of a mess. Right. Going back to that last thing, the Pritchers. Uh -huh. It's like the silver one if you don't make the finals. So you can just have a profile picture to say that well, you saw. Well, I got to stage two. Yep. And then I like didn't play it at all. And I got that one. Oh, so you can have a profile picture to say that you suck. Yeah. You can just broadcast that. Everyone, um, I want you all to know, I <laughs> fucking suck at this game. Uh, so yeah, Tri Brigade sleeves, and then Duelist Cup sleeves as well. They're a, cool, a nice colour. Yeah. I don't mind them. Um, the Five-Headed God Dragon ones we talked about, and then Starry Dragon. I like the design of it. The card's kind of garbage, though. Um, better things you could do. Like, release the Medolce field that they announced, like, <laughs> six months ago and still haven't released. Goodness. I'm I'm still playing with you just the vanilla such... field, because I'm like, one day that <laughs> really nice field's going to come bitch. out, and once that really nice field comes out, I'm going to use it. There's so many other nice fields. Have you seen the Ghost Trick field? I've seen it, but that Medolce one looks really cool. Ben, you have 4,000 gems. You can just do both. I have 5,000 now that I got the other 1,000 <laughs> sign in. Yeah, so you can just do both. But why? It's a waste. No, it's not. You can alternate. But I can just get cards. I've got how, runics to buy. How is it that you can, like, have 20,000 pairs of shoes stacked yes. up against your wall and never be satisfied, yes. but just one deck in Master Duel, one thing of sleeves, one field, and you're like, I am satisfied. It's because it's not tangibly real, Jake. I can't physically pick up my Duel field from Master Duel, walk into locals and be like, I can check it out. Check it out. So unless you can, like, I got a little to, volcano. So unless you can bring it to people that flex, you don't care. Yes. One hundred percent. You shallow bitch. <laughs> it's not physically real, Jake. <laughs> you can't sell your master door account. Can you sell your master door account? Uh, I think as long as you don't attach it to your Konami ID, I think so. Oh, I already did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> And no one wants to buy your account because there's only one deck, one sleeve, one yeah, field. Yeah, but it's got so many gems. <laughs> Anyway, moving on from Master Duel news, we move on to uh, some information about the next world premiere theme. Uh, so, uh, from the Konami Twitter, a little while ago, they announced the uh, ultra rare copy that'll be given out as like yeah. price support for the thing. It's weird. Uh, it is weird. Uh, so, its name is Gold Pride Leon. Basically, it's a level three warrior tuner. Uh, destroys a monster on the board to special summon itself, and then when it's normal special, that special is another one of the gold pride monsters from the but deck. It can't be a warrior, so that you can't go into a soul day. Well, they it summons a non-warrior. No, no. So here's the thing: um, it doesn't matter because once you do that, you're locked into the archetype for the turn. Oh, I stopped reading at that point, where I was like, oh. You mean a soul day can't be used oh, at this well, point? Don't worry, Ben. It gets worse. Uh, so, um, it's another quick synchro uh, thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one monster using only gold pride monsters you control. Uh, I don't know why Tell the Konami R&D... Synchros? Yeah, Roger and Derek have a hard-on for synchroing off turn. Um, basically, Hulk got banned, this and is... they're like, how can we replicate it, Hulk in the worst way possible? This is only because we complained about the fact that there weren't enough Quick Synchro fish cards, so they're like, if we make a new archetype, it needs to Quick Synchro. We need to future-proof this shit. It's... 
It could have been really cool if they just didn't have the hard lock on it. I don't know if the if you just can hear the bikes outside. If like, not, Ben just looks like he's. I'm gonna look like, like an idiot. <laughs> having the twitches. <laughs> Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what else comes from that, but I'm not expecting a great deal, if I'm honest. Yeah, well, that's what we said about Libromancer, and that ended up actually being decent if you mixed it in with a bunch of shit. So but, but this is the thing: if it that hard locks, locks you. you, and even like you can't even like summon around it from the main is deck it on to then quick or special. Hmm? Is it on normal or special? Oh, you're making me reopen it, Ben. Sorry. Why have you done this? Uh, it is, yeah, normal or special. Uh, so maybe they'll give you one that summons another, which summons this, which summons another, and then you can go quick synchro for like a synchro 12 that says, go fuck Unless yourself. Unless they release uh, gold pride baron de floor, I can't see it being all that important. They could just release a turn skip card. They could, but they won't. They could just give them a sync 12 that turn skips. I don't think they'll do that. No, um, not. Moving on, though, uh, we have the announcement of a brand new deck build pack, uh, Wild Survivors. Um, it'll have three different archetypes, as per usual, um, and it's saying that it'll have good synergy with some stuff that's come out before. It also has the note up the top before it goes into like the blurb of like when it comes out and all this stuff. Um, I think it's meant to say she survived, question mark, uh, but they spelled survived with an extra F. Survived. There's an F in survived? Oh, there's no F. Yeah, they're both meant to be Vs. <laughs> okay, okay. So either whoever has transcribed this can't spell, or they've intentionally put some spelling error in there as like a hint. How far is F from the V? Uh, F is here, V is here. It's not that far. Maybe they hit the wrong button. Maybe. I'll, I'll give Mr. Hitting YG twice, organization though. man. I'll give Gary from... There's also a note. Yeah. They say, uh, yes, they did say you can build decks with just the deck build pack twice. And then in inverted commas, it says there's a reason they said it twice. So there's a lot of sneaky um, things going on in here. I'm not sure... We're going to get Skystrucker all... support, Jake. It's going to be Skystrucker support. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me. <laughs> did we ever get that like Earth pack that got released... In the OCG, have we got Earth there? pack? Yeah, mm -hmm. there was an Earth Duels pack that everyone was like, "It's gonna have Gem Knights in it," and then it didn't have Gem Knights in it. Did we ever get that? No, they just integrated that into the main set as imports because they but had all the Amazon stuff. Oh, yeah, it those came, came out. Yeah, it's in the Darkwing Blast. Oh, I didn't even realize. Do you look at out. anything that isn't like a super when you're opening packs? No, not at all. <laughs> it's literally just rubbish. <laughs> Welcome to Cowboy for Game, the foremost location of news. Yeah, ben doesn't even know what cards are coming out and when. I used to know discuss... every card that came out, but nowadays I'm like, there's just too much, man. Too ben, much ben, ben, bulk. Ben, ben. Uh, Finally hasn't printed good cards in years. Speaking of good cards being printed, good news! Uh, another set that's coming about a bit sooner, because we have box art and everything, yep. uh, Maze of Memories. Yep. Do you remember talking about this one in chat? No. no? Okay. Uh, so we have some reprints announced first. Uh, basically, they've not announced any of these reprints, but the way the box art is, you can tell oh, what they are. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it looks like we're getting Reekers, we're getting a reprint of uh, Crusader Avramax, and maybe some more Mech Knights to go with the ones that you randomly get in Trap Tricks for reasons I still don't fully understand. No um, point. Because they've not no been point. reprinted in quite some time. That's fine. Especially Keep, Make you. sure your collection's still worth money, Jake. It's always worth money. It's Mech Knights. Uh, Wind Up Kitten is also there, and Spellbook of Fate, that was in need of reprinting. Um, we also get Guiding Chimera as a reprint, and most importantly, Baron de Fleur. I have still yet to actually see the Baron in the pictures. Everyone who showed me a picture of the Baron on the pack art, I'm like... I think that's one of the few that they actually announced. Okay. Oh, that would make sense. That would make sense. I'm curious as to whether or not this set replaces Ghost from the Past. Maybe. Because it's, it's released as March. It may well so... do. Um, it's got some other Black Luster Soldier support that I've never seen or heard of before in my life. It's another ritual thing. Who cares? But, more importantly, we get retrains of the Gate Guardian cards. Oh, okay. It's that shitty set. Yeah. Okay. So, What's a lot of people... Gate Guardian? You said it was shitty, not me. Yeah, I but what? it looks nice. 
Yeah, but we're now getting a gate guardian that is potentially viable for competitive play. You know what? I think that will rule my childhood. <laughs> I think gate guardian being good. Are you like, sure? Actually, physically good would ruin my childhood. Are you sure you want to play this game? I don't know. Because the more that I announce stuff as weeks go on, the less and less you seem to like it's interacting it, with this game just at all. A lot of shit. <laughs> like Konami's is putting out so much shit. Baby. I like to point out Ben's like two, three years younger than me, but you've taken up the position of grumpy old man. Yes. I was like five years younger than you for sure. I was being generous to myself, let's be He real. was being generous to himself. However, yeah, there's just so much shit Yu-Gi-Oh cards being released lately, <laughs> and I'm like, there's, it's never been so clear that there is this filler in this game. Like, oh, yeah. th- there's always been filler, but it's always been like two sets a year that are just like clearly filler. And now like, the reprint sets we get are, like, the good cards are the reprints, and like the new stuff is just shit. Well, I feel like that will be somewhat addressed as time... Oh, I suppose the biggest issue they have at the moment as well is because they're operating off a system of, like, now there's just law line and side sets. Yeah. Those are the two things that you can get your best decks from. And Albaz hasn't even finished yet. It's and we so had annoying. Albaz, what, before COVID? No, after no, COVID. No, surely not. It was after COVID. Yeah. It was after like, Albaz, as much as I love it, has been going for a long so fucking time. long. And, like, even the next set is not the last one. We still get one more. Remember when you got, like, one year of lore? Like, World Legacy got four sets. Did it? Did it more than four sets? Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Look, Konami needs to sort this shit out. They need to cancel the anime that's running at the moment. Honestly, just bin Rushdoors. Rushdoors. Or have it run alongside and do something else. Whatever that anime that's airing at the moment is. is sevens? You get Sevens? Is that what it's called? Rushdoor? Rushdoor? Yeah. I think it's Sevens is Rushdoor. They need to cancel it now and put out an actual anime that you can use to build the card game around. Because in English-speaking world, it's just kind of stale in terms of product release. Yeah. Because everything is built around fucking Albaz. <laughs> it's nearly oh. over, Ben. Just two more sets. It's, is it? Yeah. Is it nearly over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, storyline-wise, story, on... story wise, it's nearly over. It, and by storyline, do you mean the storyline that some dude on YouTube made up? Or the storyline that Arthur C. Konami wrote in the great oh, tome the, of Albaz? Arthur C. Konami. Arthur C. Konami was like, hmm, yes. And then Albaz... Turned out to be a woman. <laughs> oh, yes. It wasn't page. written by the dudes who did Monty and, Python. And then the sprite showed up. They were a blast. Uh, get it? A pun. Ha 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 ha. I'm, I'm off the deep end here, Jake. I'm you, off the deep end. You are fucking off the rails. I'm off the rails. I've had enough. <laughs> Fuck Albaz <Lord. laughs> I'm just so sick of it. <laughs> it's been so long and every single thing that comes out I'm like oh that's kind of neat and Jake goes that's whole best lore <laughs> fuck me <laughs> oh god and this... then actually it's really funny that we're back on this tangent because the last time we did a two person podcast was we when I was this... talking about Cartesia yeah and you're like fuck Albus <laughs> and I feel like the time before that it was when we were like and then they discovered that there was water and there was cards under the water. Next cards. page. Cards. Yeah. That. <laughs> anyway, let's move on from that. Uh, and let's talk about uh, YCS San Jose. Oh, you mean the YCS that got written coverage despite the fact that it had 12 people attend? Yeah. Yeah. Jesse uh, Cotton actually win that event despite handicapping himself. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, he did really well. Uh, So the deck breakdown is as follows. Uh, We have 61 Bestial Ishizu Tion, 45 Florandri, 31 just straight up Ishizu Tion Elements. This is the entire player base. I thought you were talking about top 64 at first. 
Well, it wouldn't be much of a breakdown from top 64 from the total <laughs> attendance, let's be real. Um... <laughs> <laughs> How did this event get like any kind of coverage yet? The YCS We Sydney can't even get written coverage and getting anything. I was about to go into this, but we'll do it now. What the fuck? Like this Sydney YCS is potentially one of the last YCSs that we'll have the current fate like deck for. Because there's no way the tier element survives until like March or no, May. Tier element survives till March or May if they just don't acknowledge the existence of events. <laughs> they go shh. It didn't win another YCS. Don't worry, nothing happened over here. That's so bullshit. And like, we probably won't get giant cards. We're not nope. getting coverage. We've never got a prize wall. Fuck you for that. It's it's bullshit, Ben. The event is booked out. There is every single person they said could come is going. And what do we get for that? Nothing. We get the same convention center. We're, at best, we probably get one giant card. I'm going to buy it, so... <laughs> eh. Whatever the guy asked for, I was like... Here you go. Syndicate money. Me and Jake now own this. We won't put it on the wall. What, this wall? No, nah, we'll put it on the wall of good games with all the other giant cards. Depends on what it is. If it was Chamber Dragon Maid, would you let it back? It, it wouldn't be Chamber Dragon Maid, Jake. It could be fucking anything, Ben. Yeah, true. It could just be a re like we got Deco Talker last time. Yeah, and that was nowhere near the time frame of where it's supposed yeah, to be. Because they gave it an altar, and they were like, "Yo, oh, guys, check it. We'll give you an Wait, altar." What set, what what set have we had? We had. Is there anything? Oh, the structure deck. Oh, we're gonna get the fucking. Oh. We're gonna get graph. We're gonna get the fucking graph, graph or the fucking fusion. I'll take original graph. It won't be original graph. Yeah, no it won't be original hell. graph, but I will take original graph. So cringe. And there's like nothing coming out between now and then, is there? No. Who knows? They might just give us an outdated thing though. You could get Cartesia, Jake. If we get Cartesia, oh. Alpha's oh, law. Oh. Um, so what's top 64? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I couldn't find it. Oh. So Jesse Cotton won the event. He was yes. playing to Relevant. Yes. Don't know this. I'm just saying it out loud no, with no. my mouth. Yeah, he won with that. Did he. Anyone. Prove it. <laughs> yeah. It was announced on many different pages. Oh, okay. Because from memory, I saw a deck profile from him the day after the YCS. And it was like, check out my uh, Crystal Beast. Oh, I think that was just like an undefeated thing from his locals as opposed yeah. to... What did the man play Crystal Beast as the event? He didn't. And he called it a locals because he's used to play, play tournaments with five times the player base. Doubtful. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the full deck breakdown, which you cut me out of. Um, so yeah, she's the tier elements without Bissuel. Then we move on to Bissuel Sprite, normal tier element, just cucking themselves a bit further, hoping their opponent will mill for them. Um, <laughs> Exorcista, uh, Sword Soul, oh, hang on, I just need to read the numbers. Uh, so 19 tier element, 17 Sprite, 16 Exorcista, 10 Sword Soul, 8 Sky Striker, 7 Hero, 7 Crystal Beasts. Uh, seven Bestial Dragon Link, and 202 other. That's a lot of random-ass rogue. Yeah. Considering they just gave a name slot to four decks. Mm -hmm. Like, to four players playing a deck. That is 202 effectively... If that's... So let's, let's say there's 70... Because it's three. Let's say three is the cutoff point. That's 70 different decks in the room. It's a lot of people just playing the decks uh, that they like to play. Yeah, that's a lot of variance, which makes the player count even worse. Because mm -hmm. 200 people showed up at this 500-man event and were like, fuck it, I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't even get written coverage in what is considered its own region, but also part of Europe. Bonjour! Come as us! No it's bueno. So, <laughs> it's so bullshit. It makes me so angry. Yeah, look, this is how it was last time. Last time we got written coverage, we were lucky to get written coverage. I'm assuming the only reason we don't have written coverage is because uh, Yahweh was probably doing it for free last year. Yeah, now And uh, this year he was like... I want to actually play the event, and Konami was like, we're not going to pay someone to replace you. So 
Budget cuts is what they cited. Budget cuts. Budget cuts. Moving on to questions. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. First question this week comes from 6 i 6 uh, His question is, which cards are you looking forward to being released in the next few sets? Albert of Law! Uh, <laughs> I guess we could have addressed that point here. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm not excited for anything. Yeah, Ben's uh, uh, being a miserable bitch. Well, um, it's just, we're just in a part of the game right now where, like, everything's coming out as shit. So, but, like, you've seen how much is on an OCG ban list right now. Mm-hmm, and Terrellum mm-hmm. is still the best deck. True, true. So, well, like, the other thing to keep in mind is we are getting towards the end of, like, this set run. And we move on to the, like, the Duelist set. Which is like the big reveal of like the new stuff, and we get like new staples, um, new busted cards. So potentially, once the new Duelist set comes out, what do you mean by Duelist set? You know how there's been like uh, Duelist Alliance, Rival oh, okay. Duelist. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Those sets okay. have always that traditionally had massive cards but in them. Those are also typically like start of like a new wave of programming, I guess. Yeah. So, like, Duelist Alliance was the first set of the next anime. Uh huh. There's no new anime. They're not gonna break the game and give us, like, three new decks. Like, fucking. I would love Konami to turn around and be like, here's Duelist Alliance 2. <laughs> we just made four different archetypes. They're all really good. We're gonna give them all really good support for the next year. Play whichever one you want. Well, just a permanent tri format, effectively. Yeah. Like, for a year, and just give us, like, three of the best eggs. Whereas, like, at the moment, they were like, guys, here's Terrell and here's Sprite. They're both really competitive, but one's slightly better than the other. We hit the other. <laughs> <laughs> it all just goes back to them banning Ronan. <laughs> there was no need to ban Ronan Toad. No need at all. Well, the good news is, once Terrell element gets hit, potentially he comes back. Well, then you gotta ban Subster Toad, and then their excuse is, oh, we can't bring back Ronan Toad, and Subster Toad's legal. Ban Substitute, who gives a fuck? They won't do that. Why would they not? We're never getting Ruin Toten back. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Okay. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to anything. I was kind of keen on that like weird fire thing that people were like, this deck's Oh, the really fire good. engine thing. Yeah, this deck's really good. And then it proceeded to not be. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. I don't I, know why people like, were hyping it up. I should get Kashira Unicorns so I can at least play that when it comes out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But... That, those are, I, I didn't want to pay for them and now they're actually getting expensive and I'm like yeah because we're actually getting to a point where they're viable uh, I don't want to pay $30 you've already got the Fenris per- like you've already got the expensive bit I should just sell my Fenris because like what they're worth double what I paid now really? yeah okay they're expensive now and I'm not using my Fenris because it's kind of shit it's not amazing is it? like it's just not enough Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. Welcome. I'm not keen for any cards. Yeah. Um, Literally no cards coming out. I'm like, ooh, a card. The Doodle Beast came out. I knew they sucked, but I wanted them. And now here we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on from Ben's miserable uh, dark... Um, Hello darkness, my old friend. We should turn uh, off the lights on my side. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to the uh, Dogmatica support that's coming out for Spoilers. the... Spoilers. We've talked about it on the podcast multiple times and you shit on it then. Yeah. You had your rant. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I'll sit quietly while you talk about the level fours that give you hard-ons. It's a level 12. It's a level 12? That's like three times too much for you, Jake. <laughs> you can't handle 12. Again, shut the fuck up. I'm keen for the new ritual stuff for Dogmatica. I'm keen to see what it does. Um, the idea of being able to rip half your opponent's extra deck before they've started playing is appealing to me. Um... So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? On oh, new um, fusion that specifically mentions Cartesia and the negate for Albaz as well. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, there's some cool stuff coming out from there. Um, other than that, I'm really keen to see what they actually address on the ban list moving forward to see what changes the format. Because um, like obviously they're going to hit tier. That goes without saying. But what they do to like prop up other decks or what they do to like bring back an old archetype will be interesting it's kind of shit that you just had to say I can't wait for the next ban list two days after the ban list 
Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't think, for the most part, this ban list has changed enough. This ban list hasn't changed anything. All it's done, rather than addressing the actual problem, and, like, they've done not really any hits to the actual archetype. They've just, like, made it so that the archetype can't then not... The... They, it's a it's a weird response, right? So rather than actually hitting the deck as the problem, it's just given the decks that can't compete other options. But though not all those decks can run those options. Not every deck yes. can run Macrocosmos. Not every deck can run D Fissure. Yeah. It's really bizarre. The other thing I'm keen to see is that once Tier Element go, do they ever do anything to Flundery? Because like they're pr- they're keeping Flundery as it is at the moment because it's a direct competition for Tier Element. I don't think so, because like by that point it's probably going to be power creeped, like probably, and like at the moment the OCG is not doing anything, but they have what like Advent went to one, I think. Um, it's, it's had a hit. I think map it's went, map or uh, Advent. I think it was map went to two. They actually get a ban list soon. True. Because they're yeah, they're coming is, up to the end of the year. Yeah, it's due on the first of January. So like we probably would see that in before the next, next week's podcast. Yeah, maybe in the next week or two. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, we could see like, I I legitimately think that could just be like Kit Callus banned. I reckon they just go straight up on Kit Callus. You have to kill the deck at this point. Like for them, you have to kill the deck. There is no. Checking it or hitting it or doing anything yeah, else. Yeah, I suppose they've tried to address you it. You have to kill the deck. You have to take it out behind the woodshed. <laughs> you line up to Kalos <laughs> right behind the ear, and you blow its fucking brains out. The interesting thing is though, you can still play the other cards because they don't lock you into anything. So you can just play them as like fusion fodder. Yeah, but it's not so like other decks overly can... consistent because like you ban. Yeah, it's yeah. they're all already at one anyway. And the deck is still the best deck over there. And the sad part is, they're going to kill the deck. And then, like, the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, when we look at, like, the decks that Konami absolutely murdered, we're going to look at be like, but it just wasn't that good, was it? <laughs> like, Zodiac, really good. Uh, like, Spiral, really good. Dragon Ruler, really good. These are all decks that Konami full-blown killed. And then we're going to look at Terrelement and be like, it was okay it was compared right. to those decks. Yeah, it's really weird. Everybody hates it, but at the same time, no one can really explain why. Yeah, it's just <laughs> there. Like, it's not setting up a floodgate. It's not ripping your hand apart. It's not, like, um, locking you out of the extra deck. It's, it's... also luck-based. Yeah, it's, comp- like, all the Ashizu stuff did was just help you get to the stuff to set up the board. It if it were consistent to, to get to that stuff, you wouldn't even care about milling the stuff from your opponent. Like, it's an added bonus, don't get me wrong. But it's, yeah, it's really bizarre. Tier Element's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. It's not that good compared to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, yet it's been so oppressive. It's a weird time that we're in. Weird time to play Yu-Gi-Oh. And that was the cards we're looking forward to. <laughs> next question, Jake. <laughs> uh, next question is uh, also from 6 r 6 uh, What are the team's thoughts on note-taking during a tournament like Original or YCS? Do you recommend it, or do you recommend to just get good? Um, so the well, main thing I recommend is not to do it, because it's technically illegal. There are some notes you can take. Yes, notes... You can take notes that maintain the game state. For instance, yep. in Tier Element, if you were to do so, yep. you can note down which effects you've used of, like, Havness, uh, Merly, and the other one. Cheatham. Yeah, that one. Um, you can note down which of them you've used to Fusion Summon, because yep. you can't do it more than once. Yep. Um, but yeah, beyond that, you're not actually allowed to take any notes. I don't think, like, if you use Triple Tactics to look at your opponent's hand, I don't think you can even make you can't write down what you're saying, because that's yep. considered private knowledge, even though it's yep. public. You can only do pretty much the note-taking is look at fucking two elements, which have been used. That's the only relevant reason to take notes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, wouldn't recommend it. You'll get DQ'd. Yeah, not ideal. Uh, next question comes to us from Mira. Um, why does Tribrigade Mercuria not interact at all with Tribrigade? Um, it does. It does a little. It searches them, doesn't it? Huh? Does it not search a Tribrigade or Fallen Valbaz card? No, no, no. So Mercurial it's just only a searches um, Albaz or a monster that lists it. Okay. Can it search itself? No. 
That's one thing it can't do. Um, it's a beast. It's, it's a, a it's a wing it's beast? a wing beast that is also a name. Uh, gets an effect of banishing. So um, in search Alabaz to then not use it. Well, the interactions I've seen with it is um, oh I can talk about this in a second too. Is that um, like they'll banish it off of like um, the link summoning effect. Yep. Add um, Albion Albion effect. Send the trap. Put it to deck. Draw one and then add back Get to the, the mercurial. mercurial again. Oh, that makes sense. So it's a recurring piece Mercury of material and it gets you a free draw. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. There was a brief moment in time where you could have them interact, which was when uh, Tribrigade Branded was a thing. Yeah. And you could make Verte and then Verte um, do the ting. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's basically the limits of its interaction. But at the same point, like, um, the uh, Spriggan's kit doesn't interact with Spriggan's. Um, the um, Golden Sword Soul doesn't really interact with sword soul like you can use it but i wouldn't recommend it same with iris sword soul iris sword soul doesn't do shit for sword soul no 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 jake it's the first card they got it's the best card they got i remember when i thought that card was going to be like a well-played hand trap like um bloody phantasme remember when people were playing it in master Duel? yeah like it was so prevalent master Duel, and i kept whenever i hit with it i was like oh that's annoying <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, the thing that made me think of that is that, um, as well as, uh, YCS San Jose that got written coverage, we also had the, uh, Master Duel Invitational. Oh, yeah. Where 16 new YouTubers got invited to France, um, and played in, like, their little eSport arena. I only knew, like, two of them. Three of them? Four yeah, of them. um... <laughs> I don't know. If there were a lot of people, I was like, I, you're European. Yes. Um, so, where in the European region, region why didn't I get invited? It's a good question. Maybe yeah. the flights from France were too expensive to justify paying for you. Yeah, but I could have just stayed at Marcello's place. He's got a spare one. <laughs> would have saved on accommodation. <laughs> um. So yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It's it's good that they're doing these things for Master Duel. Um, trying to get like people more involved in it and yeah. get it to like an esport level. It would be cool if they just did that kind of thing for like the Duelist Cup, say like rather than doing just two stages and that was it do like a stage three where people then like at x amount of points get invited to do a 32 man tournament or whatever it is that would be cool i'm not sure if it was just my internet connection but for some reason the face cams looked like shit i think it might have just been your internet i shoot in round were one fine. like round one uh, when the two guys were actually, bursting, I wasn't there i was, was like that, that early I don't remember if I was there that early. The like that match itself looked fine, but their face cams looked like garbage. I was like, oh. Mm. But, Emma, that was your experience the whole way through, or just in the first match? I didn't really pay attention to the face cams <laughs> after that. <laughs> um, yeah, real, I didn't I have that issue, but run. if that was an issue you noticed when you were watching it, if you were watching it, please let us know. But I didn't have that problem. Next um, question. Next question comes to us from Rye Guy. Um, what has been your approach to deck building for best of one in Master Duel? I'm currently on a streak of going up against one type of deck, changing my stables to accommodate, and then getting uh, hard counted in the next. Don't change. Only play your good main deck. Which is just... I don't know. Uh, play yeah. whatever your archetype's good at. Yeah. Basically, you build your deck around what you can do, because if you try to build it around what your opponent can do it's never going to work because you're never going to verse consistent de well actually you might be versing a lot of branded at the moment but for the most part you're going to be versing a lot of inconsistent decks so you're not going to have any um consistency in what you actually verse if i banish all my opponent's branded cards can they recycle any of them do they have a way to infinitely have one card in deck how are you banishing all their cards Runix. Um, do they have a to way an extent? Do they have a way to always have one card in deck? Or is it if I banish the Albion, they lose? Well, not even Albion. If they can get to a fusion, then the Bellion can shuffle, shuffle stuff back. back. Yeah, but then I just banish them again. You have a lot of faith in Runic. I just want to play something new. Just understand that their success in the TCG has predicated so far on the existence of Mystic Mind, Not which no longer exists. Really? I look, there's there's some shit decks that are around, running around in Diamond and Platinum on that game, so like, I don't think it's, I'm going to have any problems getting to the top of ranked with Rudik. 
Oh, look, I don't think you're going to have a problem, but, like, being able to get to a point where, like, haha, every branded person I've ever versed will lose to me because they have one card left in deck. I don't think that's a realistic way to play. Yeah, but that's how I'm going to have to play. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. Uh, but, yeah, my approach is just to, um, like, at absolute worst, put in cards if there's a particular problem your deck has. Um, like, branded has very little spell and trap removal outside of Guardian Chimera. Um, so I have a little bit of spell and trap removal for that. Um, I put in um, Nibiru's at one point, both to deal with big combo decks and also as a secondary light target if I need to make an Albion. Because I only had snow in the deck at one point and once you burn that, you have no other light targets in deck, so it's just a backup more than anything else. Um, and that seems to be doing just fine. I had the light bulb moment just then that I don't think I've ever played a deck on Master Duel that interacts with the opponent. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I think every deck that I have played has been like, I have one. Handshake? I think I'm beginning to understand why you don't actually like Master Duel. Because I don't like people? Because you're effectively just sitting there playing with yourself for an hour. What's wrong with playing with yourself for an hour, Jake? I don't need that long. <laughs> 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 and that concludes the show today. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you are listening to this on Spotify, please feel to favourite us if you are listening on oh, well, any streaming service. If you're watching us on YouTube, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we really want to get that count up. Um, and yeah, join our Discord. Um, I've mentioned this recently too. We do have a thing going in there at the moment. Uh, people sharing their favourite moments over 2022 of the C4G podcast. Um, yeah, brownie points if you can give us a specific episode and or timestamp. Yeah, timestamp. And great. I will absolutely love you if you can clip it. If you can send I, us a clip, I'll clip it. That's fine. Just leave a timestamp and I'll clip it. Yeah, timestamps okay. would be awesome because uh, we really want to do like an end of year thing. Um, so yeah, uh, put those in the general and put the uh, tag of CPG 2022 so we can find it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thank you all very much for listening, and we will catch you again soon. Peace. Bye.